Hello, I'm back out working on the crusty flathead. Um, yesterday I was able to get the crank out. And what I'm worried about is the cam and the lifters. But that's a job that I've yet got to tackle. So what I want to do is take all the pistons out. What I'm going to try first of all is using this bar up underneath the piston and just giving it a really good hard knock and see if I can knock the crown off the piston. I did this once before on an English engine and it worked really well. I tried it on a 59A engine and it didn't work at all well so I just want to come and give this a bit of a hit and see what happens. If it doesn't work well, I'll try something else. This is a fairly large hammer. Let me just refocus the camera downwards a bit. Now, that's taken quite a hard hit and it hasn't done anything. Let's try a bigger hammer. That went then. Did you hear the change in the noise? Took quite a hit, didn't it? Hmm. What you hope you see is that by taking the crown off the piston it weakens it. That one's gone already. I'm trying to just do a little bit because that that first one kind of cocked in the bore. So I'm trying to take this one out a bit more square. Okay, that's cocked in the ball, but it's it, 
What I'm afraid of is breaking the sides of the bore. The um, question is, will that make it easier for the remnants of the piston to come out? Okay, good. Let's keep going. I'll give you a little look at what I'm doing. There's the view up underneath the piston. I'll show you on this one. So basically I'm going against that ledge there. I don't know if you can see right down there. Against that ledge. I'll try giving it another hit. It does take a good old hit though, I'll tell you. I'll try this one here. I've got an idea that that whole piston moved then. That whole piston's moving. Can you see the rod going? So that's even better isn't it? I just kept tapping on the same part of the piston then. Look at that. I did say didn't I that some of the pistons and bores looked like that actually would slide that must have been one of them I find it difficult to work out which cylinder it is when it's upside down yeah I need to try and remember which rod is which anyway okay let's uh, but I've only got that one out so far so uh, how am I going to do, how am I going to do that okay I'll put it on the floor over here Oh, that's the rod's tight. Yeah, that one's going as well. This one's virtually at the top of the stroke. Okay, so that's um, the second one on this side. Amazing. That top ring actually, it's still got some spring in it. Just for completeness, I think maybe I'll try and see if these pistons will move now. Now that the tops have gone. Yeah, this this is moving. Gotta be careful because you don't want to stress up the wall of the cylinder. You also don't want to hammer on the um, rod. I'm hammering on the um, the uh, wrist pin bosses. But once the um, crown of the piston's gone, 
it makes it a lot easier to move I don't know if you saw what I did there but instead of hitting side to side I hit it on the one side but put the bar against the rod to hold the, the rod straight nice right that's number four on this side Now this one would do better to come downwards, wouldn't it? Because it's already at this end of the bore. I'll flip it over. Okay. I'll show you what I can see. Can you see down the hole there? So hopefully that should be a, an easy knock out brute force and ignorance but well, it isn't actually ignorance it's um carefully applied heavy heavy forces you can tell by the noise that it's going See if I can just grab it. There you go. There we are, look. Sweet. That's not going to run again, is it? Okay, I'm going to try it on the other side. What I'm aware of is that the other side of the stand isn't as well supported as the side that I've just done. So let's just see how it feels when I start trying to knock them. I might turn the block round and put it in the stand the other way around if it feels too flexible or maybe stick a piece of wood under it or something. Right, let's uh, get you in there sort of right. Now this one's right at the top of the bore so... It pays to get yourself in a decent position. My uh, gloves are, and hammer are slippy. Yeah, the, it doesn't feel as well supported that way. I don't like the. I don't like that one. Let me try another one. I'm going to get myself in a better position. I think when it makes that different noise, that means it's gone. I think. I wonder if, having bust the head off, if it'll, if the piston will move now and take the head with it. Keep keeping the head square. Yeah, going. That was from hitting the 
down there. You do have to be careful though. Well, <laughs> careful, yeah, whatever, Mark. This is the front of the engine. So that was number three. There. You can't afford to risk having your hand slip on the hammer when you're hammering so close to your other hand. It's a big hammer as well this is. You don't normally get these with the handle this long. That one feels a bit stubborn. Let's try let's do a sort of tentative try on each one. Not sure if that went then or if I just slipped off that face. Well that one's easy, look. The whole piston's going, look. Must be another one with a good... Another one with a good bore. There. And that, that is actually quite free there, that one. You know, <laughs> I know it sounds daft, but... If they all came out like that, you'd have a chance of getting it running again. Right, that's number one this side, isn't it? Good. Let's try this one again. This one's already at the top of the bore. Yeah. move the camera and give you a different view. Yeah. I saw the, saw the light suddenly shine up the bore there. Lovely. Okay. The, uh, the way the crown came off that one. That's stiff, that one. Right, that's number four on this side. Okay, just number two then. So is the, you sort of half expect Sod's Law to kick in, don't you? And the last one be the awkward one. talking myself into that. Just going to wipe the hammer. Did you hear the difference in the sound?
I might hammer this one down because it's further down the bore than it is up. Some of them will come out downwards. Not all of them though, you have to... I was watching a... I watched a video where a guy said that he took them out downwards but um, you have to smash some of them as they come through because they hit the they hit the webs Still we're getting there, aren't we? BFH. Okay. There. Okay, so this is number two. No, I don't like that. I'm going to knock it. This is actually the worst bore. I don't like that. I'm afraid of mishitting it. I'm afraid of mishitting it and um, coming out the busting hole in the side of the bore because I have actually done that once. This is where you say to yourself, don't screw it up. It is going. Swap hammers, because I don't need such a heavy hammer and this one's a little bit... You know, the opposite of unwieldy, this one's a bit more wieldy. Anyway, easy does it. This is that bore that's probably going to need sleeving. That's still got a bit to go, hasn't it? I wanted to catch it, you know, because you don't want to damage it when it goes on the floor, do you? There. Oh, look at that. The, the, it's gone out halfway through the uh, wrist pin hole. Call it, we call them gudgeon pins in England. Okay, so that's number two. Brilliant. Look at that. That's not bad, is it? Eight pistons out. That um, went better than I expected. There we are then. That's pretty good, isn't it? Eight pistons all out. This is my next area of concern here now, the um, the cam and followers. So I'm going to mix up some penetrating oil, you know, some acetone and stuff. and. Um, and I haven't quite determined how I'm going to try and get those out. You'll find out, won't you, when you see the next little instalment. I'll just do a little round up then. Okay, there we are then. Thanks again for popping in and keeping me company. It's nice to have somebody to talk to, even though... You know, you ain't there, at the, you know, when I'm doing it. But I know people watch this. Hopefully you found it interesting and hopefully that might, you know, be a, a method that maybe somebody else could use. Because I, I have seen lots of different, sorry, I have seen lots of different um, techniques. But that's one that certainly worked for me once before. And it's just worked again. You saw it work. 
Okay. Thanks very much then. Thanks for popping in. Bye. Yep. I think this is going to be my challenge. <laughs>